Saudi Arabia's de facto leader, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, is a divisive figure. Some see him as a progressive reformer, others as a human rights abuser. The assassination of Saudi Arabian journalist Jamal Khashoggi has put the Crown Prince in a global spotlight. So here's what we know about the man. On June 21st, 2017, the Crown Prince was named heir to the throne by his father, King Salman, upending the royal line of succession. As defense minister, he's overseen the country's assault on Yemen. In 2017, he released his Vision 2030 plan, a set of economic and social reforms, which most prominently included lifting a ban on women drivers. Despite this image of reform, the Crown Prince has tightened his grip on power within the kingdom. They've cracked down very hard on people who have protested. The same women activists who for years had been pressing to get the right to drive have now been arrested. Clerics, uh, conservative clerics who have, have at various points said that some of the things he would, was doing were non-Islamic have been arrested. Um, a lot of intellectuals in the country have been arrested. A lot of journalists who have been in any way critical, even very mildly so, of Mohammed bin Salman and the way he's been doing things have been arrested. Despite a CIA assessment linking the crown prince directly to Jamal Khashoggi's killing, President Donald Trump has been reluctant to single out the leader. Did We're going to have a very that MBS was behind it? Uh, they haven't assessed anything yet. It's too early. That was a very premature report, but uh, that's possible. We're going to see. The U.S. Treasury Department sanctioned 17 people it said were involved in Khashoggi's death, including one of Mohammed's top aides. As effects of those start to take shape, U.S.-Saudi relations are uncertain.